Hello and welcome back to Europa Universus 4. I am Lord Forent here playing as the growing power of Holland on its way to uniting the Netherlands. So we have just started exploring, which is rather awesome. Uh, we Apparently we can't actually see the land in the New World, even though we can find the Caribbean Sea, which is both simultaneously confusing and annoying. We are currently amusing ourselves, which... Honestly, it's a little sadistic watching the English absolutely fail to contain the War of the Roses. Um, they're doing a little bit better now, to give them credit. But they did lose Calais to Burgundy. Um, what else is going on? France is in a war versus the HRE, it looks like. Um, really like that free development, but I don't have the money. Oh, I have to do it. Okay, otherwise I lose influence. So we're going to go into debt briefly here. We should get out of it reasonably fast. Apparently we've got a chance of a plutocratic coup as well. Ay -ay -ay. Um, but the monopoly should expire soon. And that should be fine. And we're still looking at the threat of a civil war too. Ay -ay -ay. We are in a right state, aren't we? But we are intact, and the coalition against us is gone, which is really good signs. Burgundy is getting a little bit stronger, which is a bit of a problem. Um, but we are intact. In some ways, that's really what matters above everything else. Learning a little bit more about Africa, which is kind of nice. We need one more expansion of Colonial Range. I don't know if we're going to get that before 1500. We might, but it's it's not going to be easy. Um, North Atlantic Sea, we'll explore there too. Maybe if we explore enough, somehow we'll find a way to actually see what the land is. Anyway. It's nice our inflation is going down, even though our loan did bump it up, which we can immediately pay off. Morocco is in a pretender war. Castile really beat up Aragon. Wow, I'm actually kind of impressed. What was that? Three, four provinces they took? Yeah, I'd say that's four provinces they stole from uh, Aragon. So Castile is, might actually get Spain at some point. Uh, Plutocratic coup is no longer going. Okay. That's good. Uh, I can't do that, however. Okay, let's first get the tech. That way we still keep our innovation. Um, I guess I just don't get Diplo tech. I get all the other types of tech instead. Um, admin support, diet, military support. Okay. Not great, because I could get a colonist, but we'll just wait a little bit. I don't even know if we can reach here to colonize. We're learning the Atlantic Ocean is... An ocean, though? <laughs> uh, we're learning it's big, vast, and... Uh, not easy. Hey, English Dynasty of Lancaster 1. However, giving like a month or two, we're going to see Henry Tudor, because I don't usually see the AIs not put Henry Tudor on the English throne. Even though Edmund of Edward of York is still alive. Yep, there's Henry Tudor. He's actually worse than the air they had, but uh, we'll ignore that. Colonist, which actually nets us another trade. Trader. So we can now... I'm actually going to put him here to collect from trade. Because that should amplify our bonus even higher. And considering 10% is 10%, we also can do a native policy. We are the Dutch. Colonizing fast would be nice, but the Dutch were not known for it. 
For now, we're going to do native coexistence, and then we'll switch to native trade, just because we may end up in a civil war. So I don't really, really want to risk having to um, contain and control colonial lands um, while well, in like a civil war or something. Okay, we didn't... It doesn't appear we're actually discovered any land we can colonize, which kind of sucks. So, in the meantime... I'm actually being intelligent this time. Uh, we are going to send the colonist here to work in Zealand. Probably won't do anything. Um, you never know. If it gets us even one development, it's vaguely profitable. It's free to cancel. He'll return pretty much the next day. So it's not going to hurt us either way. You know, Zealand here with salt is actually a pretty defensive province. Oops. We have a new ruler and a new heir to the throne, which means we got to squash some pretender rebels. Delightful. Ooh. He's a really nice ruler. His strong claim, too. Oh, but I guess we should resist. If possible. Keep our current dynasty. It just looks sloppy if you lose it, even though that would be a much better ruler. It, did that stop our civil war? No, it did not stop our civil war. Awesome. And that even goes up because we had a disputed pretender succession. Wow. You know, I've never actually had that be seen this modifier before. That is nasty. Interesting, but nasty. Um, next month we should squash the rebels. Should be real, no trouble. Um, no hunting pirates. We want to see the African coast, because I suspect we may only be able to reach the African coast at max. We have a much better general. Um, we should win this fight. It's closer than I imagined, actually. There we go. And that should control the Civil War a bit. Yes. Okay, Civil War is being controlled. Still, Plutocratic Coup has a chance of happening. Even though their influence is below what it needs to be. Weird. Um, I can't even do the New World trading increase. Wow. Which, you know, isn't a problem because we can't do anything. Man exists. The Isles is, in fact, a thing. Kind of cool. It's not something you see a lot of. Can't vassal anybody, but I'm kind of curious if we could have. Annoying stability loss, but that's the way it goes. So let's instead... Reboost our stability. We have discovered the African coast. Can we, in fact, colonize it? No. We are way short of it. Wow. Uh, next tech, we might be able to... Next idea, we might be able to... When are we going to get that? Seven years. Hmm. I guess it makes sense. Um... Considering our ruler is not very good on the diplomacy scene of things. Next year, though, we could refocus our national focus, which would help a little bit. Our aggressive expansion is going down to a year. So we could theoretically fight, like, one war. Maybe we could take Friesland. I'm hesitant to do it, though, you know? As much as it would be nice, it's still a bit of a risky move. We could definitely win the war, don't get me wrong, we could win the war. But if I do it, I'd really like to take 
both of their provinces, and I can't do that with seven with thirty one aggressive expansion already. Even with reduced aggressive expansion of like twenty percent, it would still be rather high. It would be nice if there was a tool to calculate the aggressive expansion when you took land, though. Oh well. I can't do anything with it, so I don't need to worry. Um, let me turn back on colonists. Oh, I do have colonists on. Why aren't we seeing it, then? I don't know. 12% chance to develop that. Maybe he'll succeed, maybe he won't. Let's get a new idea. More innovation, but more importantly, fort defense. That is, that is good. We need the fort defense. Did we get it? Oh, we just got a hundred Diplo points. It's nice when your monarch all of a sudden gets, you know, like plus one in the skills, but I can't, I don't think I've ever gotten that. Maybe once. It's not a very common event yet. Unfortunately, we'll boost Antwerp. We are dominating this trade node now. 33 versus 42. 13 gold. I think we're the richest from trade other than, obviously, probably Venice. 19, yeah. Lubeck is up there. Oh, the Ottomans are ahead of us. 14. And the Mamelukes are up there, too. Looks like the Ottomans are not going to be able to expand into the Middle East for some time. They did just fight a coalition war versus Venice, and they took some of the islands, which is... Actually kind of good, because it delays their ability to actually fight anyone else. What is... Oh. Naples. Has got Corsica. Interesting. Um, apparently we've got... Spy networks on these guys? On... Burgundy? I want to say. I think that was the event we got. Yeah, I'll put a claim on them there, I guess. Not that's going to help. If we fight a war, I would honestly give that back to England. Actually, England doesn't have a core on it anymore. Weird. Huh. Very interesting. These little things you don't actually know unless you play in the region a lot. Brandenburg could be emperor. Brandenburg got beat up. They lost their Silesian territory. They lost Pomerania. And because they had already conquered it and taken their mission, they still don't have permanent claims on that area. Unlucky for them. Saxony, unfortunately. Bohemia, despite losing Silesia and losing like a quarter of its territory, has come back pretty well, actually. Um, when is this going to expire? Not for a while. They've just got so much influence. <laughs> However, they're no longer in a coup, so that's somewhat good news. I really, I really want to boost them just a little bit. But it's too risky. Too much too risky. That is the danger of being a very high trading nation, is you can't actually interact with your merchants at all. Although, I could just do... Oh! There we go! That actually works. So we'll do Monopoly Charters now. Now we'll demand Diplo Points. They're still going to hate us, of course. Um, but we could get the policy, which should get us some additional colonial range. Is there anything I can colonize, or can I just explore? I can explore the Caribbean. Nice! don't think I can colonize this still. Yeah, still out of range. But at least we'll know where the new world is. So, small mercies. I should probably just stockpile some cash right now. Stockpile and then take that uh, high income stuff that decreases cost even more.
And my genius, 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 genius general died. Sorry about that. I needed a drink of water. I think you guys heard that. So my apologies. Um, that was a guy I got from the military estate. Bitch. Technically, I could ask for another general, couldn't I? Denmark's asking me to help fight Poland and Lithuania. Ugh. It's about an even fight. I'm not going to send troops because I suspect they're going to make their way somehow over to my territory because it's AIs. They're going to target the human player, of course. Um, You know, it might actually be easier for me to colonize the North Atlantic than the Caribbean, but... Oh, Portugal's already here. Looks like it's just out of my range. Ugh, too bad. Well, does that still give us a chance for colonialism? It does, even if we don't actually own land. So, if not terrible. We have two diplotechs to do, though, before apparently I can colonize, which is unfortunate. Because that was already... Oh, even that's out of range. That's too bad. I don't think it's worth no CBing someone like Marrakesh or something. In fact, the only reason I have some of that range is because we have Vlandarin. So normally we'd even be able to get as far as we have, which is... I guess pretty good. Still dominating trade. I don't think I've actually ever played this trade heavy of a nation since I played Venice. Even Venice wasn't this trade dominated, which is weird. Okay, sorry about going silent there. I spilled some water on my desk and I had to mop that up. My apologies. Um, we have another Splendor ability. Awesome. Uh, I guess I'll do Colony. Not that it makes any difference at this point. Protestant Reformation is here. Now we have a... We're going to convert to Protestantism. We're going to just outright convert to Protestantism. We're not. There's almost no way we're going to become Emperor right now. Um, the odds of us being an elector are slim, too. Um, we cannot convert at war. Shoot. Okay, well, we're going to have to wait. We are going to have to wait. Um, they're not coming for me, so I could theoretically... Oh, I can't even get there. <sighs> um, there's no point in sending my fleet, really, is there? Um... I guess let's construct a slightly larger heavy fleet. We have the money. It's probably worth more right now than actually building buildings. I really do want to become Protestant, though. As soon as we can. Still have no chance of getting the bonuses from the Pope, which sucks. Um, also, is actually... If the AI is smart which it's AI. The Polish should never get to Ossel because it's an island. Uh, we want... We want centralized bureaucracy, I think. Just to decrease autonomy because all of our land we're going to be expanding into is high development, close, close, close quarter land. Apparently we've got a chance of a revolt here by the burgers. Not a big one, but there is still a chance. There we go. We have now 10% cheaper development cost in all provinces, which is pretty good. That actually makes playing the Dutch very viable in some ways. 49, yeah. It's nice. 30, 43. 
we're going to be able to make a nice, tall, nicely developed Netherlands at this rate. We just need two more Diplotex so we can colonize. That and at be at war. But anyway, that will be it for this episode because time has expired. And uh, Poland and Lithuania are probably going to win this war. Although the AI could be smart and keep defending that island. But it really doesn't affect me in the end. So that is it from me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I certainly am. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.